Number two, number two, let's do domain and range. So I'm going to go from left to right looking at the domain here. So as I go from left to right, I see the graph the entire way. So how do I describe? I'm not going to write all real numbers because we're using this notation. So it's negative infinity to positive infinity. Make sure the negative goes first and the positive goes second. And you're using parentheses. Now the range still goes from negative to positive, but we're looking at the y's. So I'm going from bottom up to top. I notice that the position is pulled on bottom to top. The entire way I see the entire function. So it is negative infinity to positive infinity. One of the most asked questions from first hour and second hour is how do I determine the domain and range? All right, so now let's look. We only have one piece to this function. So I need to decide is this one piece an example of an interval that is increasing, decreasing, or constant? So from left to right, if you were riding a bicycle along this road, would you be going uphill or downhill? Again, what would you be doing, uphill or downhill? Downhill, and we use the word what to describe downhill? Decrease, and so there's only one piece to this function. So there is no increasing, I'm going to say there is none available. And the entire length of this graph is decreasing, the entire way, so negative infinity to positive infinity, the entire way is decreasing. Let's look at the end behavior, I'll use a different color here so it stands out. I'm going to go to the far left and far right. What does this mean? As I look at the graph at the far left hand, let's describe the behavior at the far left. So far left, as it enters in, it is headed up, positive infinity. Now let's look at the far right. So I'm going to go to the very far right. As it enters in, it is going down, negative infinity. We do see a y-intercept here. Make sure that you are writing it down correctly. It's 0, negative 5, not negative 5, 0. 0, negative 5. Let's do rate of change. So I just would like to know, in this class, who prefers the graphical, mess, the graphical way of doing rise over run? Hands up high. Okay. Who says, I feel like I'm more accurate if I do the algebraic method? Okay, either one, you get the same answer. Here we go. So I need to go to where x equals negative 6. I happen to be lucky. It's already on the function. Then I need to go to where x equals 0. Well, x equals 0, I can't stop here. I need to go up or down until I hit the function at x equals 0. So from left to right, I need to describe what's happening. By the way, if from left to right, are we going uphill or downhill? We're going down. How do you think what symbol would be down? Okay, so that's just prediction. Okay, here we go. We're going to go down. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm at the same level. Down five. So rise over run. Rise over run. Okay, now I need to go to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six to the right, and there is your rate of change.